the first one we're going to start off with is asking about the recent Snyder Con. Check it out. Hello, John Campion crew. This is Theophilus calling from Phoenix, Arizona. Been a huge fan way back when I was in Liberia since the AMC days. Well, my question is this. It's regarding the Snyder Con event that recently took place. I was really, really disappointed, and I don't know if you were the same, but the hide behind this whole Snyder Con something was so out to the roof that we thought that we were actually going to get an announcement or something or a news regarding the Snyderverse. How do you feel about this? Were you disappointed to know that there was nothing that came out of that uh, whole stuff? Let me hear your thoughts, and may the crew and you have a wonderful day. Bye. All right, thanks for calling that in, Theophilus. Okay. Um, you guys might remember it was about a month, maybe two months ago, that Zack Snyder put out kind of this cryptic thing where it was like a picture of, uh, not a picture was of it the Superman like statue, statue or something. No, it was it was Dark Side. That's what oh, it was. Right, right. It was like this picture of Dark Side sort of thing with just the dates, like oh, April, yeah, right. what through whatever, right? And it was this very cryptic thing, and I mean, listen, we as movie fans. All of us. Let's not point any fingers at any particular group because this is, we are all guilty of this. We take one little piece of information and then we go nuts with it and we start making up all types of crazy shit. We all do it. We all do it. And I don't do it. I, <laughs> a lot of information I get goes out in one ear. Goes Ray, forget, the other. Ray forgets or he yeah. will. Yeah, Ray forgets I'm, I'm asleep half the time this information comes in. So. so this thing comes out that, oh, he's, uh, you know, he puts up the same picture, dark side, date through date. And I, I tell you what, the Snyder fans lost their minds because I started getting in like all this stuff from people saying, uh, he's officially announcing Justice League part two. And he's announcing that he got the rights back to DC, the rights back. He never had the rights, but anyway, he got the rights back to it. And he's going to be making new DC movie Snyderverse movies over at Netflix and blah, and all this stuff. And I remember I didn't, we didn't make it a topic on the show and, and a bunch of people wrote in and, and I think it was somebody wrote in the live chat that day and said like, how come you're not talking about this? This could be a totally new direction for DC and blah, blah. blah. And I said, guys, it isn't anything like that. I mean, I, it sounds, first of all, it's not one date. It's a, it looks like it's a couple of days. So if it's an announcement, it would just be one day, right? That would be it. It wouldn't be a day. I said, it's probably some kind of an event, whatever. And sure, sure enough, it became this thing that they were calling SnyderCon. And it was going to be a couple of days event. They were going to screen uh, the movies that Zack Snyder did in the DC universe. Yep, over three days. Over three days. And they were going to have some uh, some live watch-alongs, and they were going to do some Q&A, and, yep. right? Actually, you know what? A really fun thing to do, if you are a fan of, of that yes. series of films, it sounds like just a good opportunity to get together with some fans and celebrate the mo these particular movies if, if you are a particular yeah. fan of those movies, and, right? And I think the proceeds went to a, a good cause, Yeah, too. they did. They, they So, like, for, for like, I'm going to... Um, you know, repeat what you said. It's great for anyone who loves the Snyderverse. I mean, I like the Sny Zack Snyder movies. I, I I was welcome to ha getting more. I mean, I have no problem with them. So, hey, listen, I still say Man of Steel is the greatest, is the best movie that was ever in the DCU. I mean, I I still think it's top ten. That's the most underrated comic book film of all time. One of my favorite comic book movies ever. And so, it's a great opportunity. But despite the fact that. They said, we're going to do screenings, we're going to do this, take Q&A. There were still a lot of people who went into this thing thinking that some grand announcement, like QAnon after the election, some <laughs> big grand thing is about to happen. And even though Zack Snyder never said anything big and grand was going to happen, the fact that uh, you got to also employ some common sense here. Zack Snyder has no rights to the DC films. Yeah. That all belongs to Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers is not about to let Zack Snyder or anybody else make their own DC movies while they're trying to do theirs. They're not about to let Netflix have some stuff while they're trying to do their own thing. Yeah, he, it, he's going to have his own studio and magically have all the rights to DC. Yeah, yeah I, I mean... I, I, I would have went for Rebel Moon, hope, hoping he would have shown so You know, I had I nothing to do with it. Zaslav down in the bottom corner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's just hanging out. <laughs> it has nothing to do with, like, what the, the event, but if anything, I would be excited for Rebel Moon, which I am. 
which I don't know if they talked about Rebel Moon at all, but yeah. but 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 you know, I'm looking forward to Rebel Moon. I think a lot of people are looking forward to Rebel Moon. But I think the problem here is that a, a lot of the Snyder fans here did what we, what all of us as movie fans do. We build up something in our heads, and I know I've done it. Everybody's done it at different points, at different times, with different movies. We build up certain things, even though there's no actual evidence or proof that these things are going to happen. And, and I think that's it. I think there were a bunch of fans who went into this thing and really thought that Zack Snyder was about to announce, we're going to do Justice League 2, and Henry Cavill's back as Superman, and we're going to do all this kind of stuff. And even though there is no logical way any of that would have ever made sense, but as we do, some fans got kind of really enthusiastic about it. Look, so listen, at the end of the day, I think from what I can tell, because I wasn't there, but from what I can tell, the Snyder Con was exactly what it should have been. Yeah, like an old-fashioned convention. Just yeah, like, exactly. You know, like, get to get an opportunity for fans of a couple of films to yep. get together and just celebrate those films. Of an IP, and, or not even an IP, but just, you know, a series or something like, just like kind of like an old school before the new Star Trek stuff came out and Star Trek was kind of shelved. They had Star Trek cons. No one expected, oh, they're going to have, they're going to announce all these things. You went to celebrate the IP. Yeah. Yeah. So for what it was and what it always said it was going to be, I personally don't think there was anything to be disappointed by. Let's get together, celebrate these movies that we like, and that's exactly what they did. Now, I, and, and, and to be fair, anybody who went in there and saying they're disappointed because they really thought there was going to be this announcement and this announcement and this announcement, well, then that was you disappointing yourself because they never said they were going to do anything like that. They never at all, Zack Snyder never said that. Nobody involved with the organizing ever said that. That was all just stuff that fans made up in their own head. But hey, we've all done it and we'll all do it again. Hey, hey they got a special appearance from Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck and I heard showed Ray up Fisher there. was there. Maybe he he got he, they ans he answered their questions. I mean, the whole thing to me would have been just having fun watching those three movies with people who love those movies as much as, you know, I do or I'll tell you else. what, though. I saw a couple of YouTube videos of some really angry people. Mm. Like, really angry. Like, I guess one of the big things was, like, I guess somebody asked Zack Snyder at the Q&A, so how did Robin die? Right? Because we said, you know, because in the, the one movie, there's the, the Robin costume right, says, right. joke's on you, whatever. Somebody asked, how did Robin die? And I, I guess Zack Snyder said, well, I can't really reveal that. Oh. And, like, boy, this one YouTuber was pissed off he's like well why the hell are we doing this if you're not even going to answer our questions like dude <laughs> this was a thing for people to get together and just have fun oh man I, I, so I, angry con <laughs> angry con yeah. that's he what, was, that's the problem was I, he was already upset when he got there I, I mean, yeah i think there was already upset I, I mean think about it like we we talk about the snyder fans like a lot or snyder cut fans a lot but i i try to think of like what i am the biggest fan of and if i could see myself or uh, acting or doing uh, one punch man or something like that. And like, I'm not going to say 100%. I wouldn't be acting like they act towards this property. So I don't know. I mean, some of it sounds real foolish to me uh, standing from the outside looking at, you know? Yeah. But I, uh, other, uh, they just love this thing so much. I think uh, anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Do you think people who were looking forward to Snyder Khan should be upset that there was no big announcements or some big revelation that, that came out of it? Or do you feel like I do that, hey man, it was just a, a great opportunity for the fans of these movies to get together and celebrate the movies. What's there to be disappointed about? I don't know. However you guys feel about it, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. From the gas pump to the grocery store, your utility bills and favorite streaming services, inflation is everywhere. Seriously, make it stop. Thankfully, there's one company out there that's giving you a much needed break. It's Mint Mobile. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know that ever since I switched to Mint Mobile, I've been saving almost 70% a month over my old phone plan. For people looking 
looking for extra savings this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia.